So actually, uh, yesterday when I was at the cinema seeing Toy Story, there was a festival going in in Watford, and as people may know, Watford isn't known for its culture, uh, unfortunately, but this was a really cool arts event festival going on in the town centre called Imagine Watford. And I didn't hadn't heard anything about it, but I was I was sitting down um, outside the cinema, and there's like a stage now that they have set up where they do like live radio performances, and I just saw these people hanging out in orange tops with ImagineWatford.co.uk, so I googled it, oh. and I saw about the festival, and then walked up and down the high street, and yeah, there was dancing, acrobats. And as I've told Anna already... <laughs> it's fantastic. Get ready. You are not prepared for what James is about to say. I don't think I can do this justice. I'm sure if you Google Imagine Watford online, you'll I see this I want to do it. Gnome. I want to see if they put it right on Instagram. But basically it was this giant puppeteer gnome. <laughs> and oh, he was super life. creepy looking, I thought. I wasn't sure if it was Dobby at first. Like, yeah, Dobby after a couple of rough nights. <laughs> and the best part was there's... There was about four. It looked like there were like four people um, maneuvering this giant gnome. Oh my god! Is that it? it? <laughs> yes. It no, oh my god! That's like a scary gremlin. <laughs> oh my life! <gasps> it, it, oh my gosh! When the podcast goes up, I'll put this on my Instagram story yes. so people can see what we have just reacted to. That is scary. Oh, I don't, I don't even want to look at it anymore. <laughs> it's still be after a bender, isn't it? He's... <laughs> oh, it's worse than that. Do you know this? The other is it creature? It's creature <laughs> after a bender. Oh my gosh! No offense to creature. <laughs> oh my gosh! But say like the the bit that the people were what the people who were the puppeteers what they were doing. Yes, yeah, so there's about four people <laughs> maneuvering this puppet, this giant gnome, and they were doing voices for it. Now these I, I <laughs> these voices really tickle me because they were. <laughs> You've got to give us an example now. <laughs> okay, the best way I'm not going to describe it. I'm just going to give an example. <laughs> just let me compose myself. Here it is. It's the gnome. I'm a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, we're going in that direction. <laughs> I, I, I'm so annoyed because I didn't get to see this gnome interact with any children. But if I was a child, I'd have been running away <laughs> so quick from this thing going down the It's the end of the world. <laughs> oh, but I'm but, glad uh, that they've brought this incredible kind of arts creativity thing to Watford. And hopefully it'll just keep getting bigger and bigger. I, hopefully the gnomes will get smaller and smaller. <laughs> <laughs> no offence to the gnome. No, yeah, I don't, don't want to rag too much on the gnome, but... Yeah, congrats to everyone that put that on, and yeah, hopefully more stuff like that in Watford, because we need it. Now we've got a nice new cinema in the town centre, I'm really hoping Watford becomes a hub of arts. We get some film festival, Watford Film Festival. Definitely, that would be fantastic. Yeah.